Okay, in this video, we have something different. I did a get ready with me. I created this beautiful look over collab with Miss Allie Dawson. So I did the eyeshadow palette. Let me show you what she looks like right there. And I did her lipstick and a lip gloss. And I also talked about a few things, what I've been dealing with, what I've been going through. I'm a little depressed a little bit, so I share what has been on my mind and if I should quit YouTube, especially maybe just this channel. So if you are interested in that and want to see how I did this get ready with me, then keep on watching. All right, I got my mirror here. So my last video that I put out was uh, makeup products that I've been loving that I can't live without. And one of those items is the uh, Ibu Beauty. This is the Tinted Moisturizer. So we're gonna put that on today. Now I said in that video, I'll, I'll link it down below in case you haven't uh, seen that yet. But if you haven't watched it, this has more skincare than makeup in it. So if you're looking for like a full coverage and all that, this isn't for you. But for me, I do like it. It gives me some kind of like, mm, you know, it, it still looks like my skin. So I really been liking this a lot. But let's go in with a primer. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And I just go like really right in here because I have bigger pores. Because a lot of times I forget now. Um, because on my vlog channel, I don't typically wear makeup. <laughs> you know, because it's been hot. I rip and run. I go to the stores and so. But when I do wear it, I, I just basically, it's just for my pores. All right. I do not use a brush. I don't use a beauty blender or anything it, because it's more like skincare. Um, so the old fashioned hands, that's how we used to do it back in the day. This is light to medium. They have two shades, light to medium and medium to dark. And if you can see, it looks like it'd be too dark for me. But once I blend it out, oh, it's beautiful. Now then you can look, I mean, do you see already? And guys, I don't use filters. Never did, never will. I mean, just that little bit. Uh, I, I really like it. Then you can go in. I'll just show you what it looks like if you just do a second coat. Um, I typically don't usually, but... It doesn't cake up or anything. And I think that's because, you know, it's basically has more skincare than anything. Always remember to get your ears. Now, a lot of times I do not go in with uh, a concealer or anything, but I am today just a little bit. I got this way too light. I need to get a darker shade. All right. Then I go in with this Urban Decay All Nighter. It's like a setting powder. What is it called exactly? Waterproof setting powder. I remember when I used to go in with those that uh, loose powder. And oh my goodness, but now that, like I said, I just basically use a tinted moisturizer. I don't have to go in with all that heavy setting powder and stuff, but this works really good. I really like it. Don't forget about the neck and the ears. And then the last thing that I do for my face is my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. That's it. Or I'll just do that, put a little bit here, and that's it. And that's just to like kind of like set it. And also any powder or any thing like that, it kind of just like melts in the skin, you know, so you don't have that cakey look or anything. And that that is basically all that I do. And like I said, and when I don't go in with a concealer, it's just. Tenant moisturizer, a little bit of this, and I call it a day. I ran out of my favorite NYX and my e.l.f. about brow pencil. So when I was out the other day, I got the NYX one, but they didn't have like that little, uh, the regular one that I like. They just have this uh, fill and fluff, which I've used it before and I do like it, but I prefer like the tiny little like dot one, circle one. Words. Um... And this is in the shade Espresso. Then 
I take my powder brush and I kind of go over it. And then after I do my eyeshadow, my makeup, then I'll go in again and fix it up and do it the way that I want, want to. Do you know what I just realized? I usually always do my eyes first, but because like I said, I have so much on my mind, I'm not thinking right. All right, I'm gonna go in here, and then when I do my eyeshadow, I'll uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. This is the Fallen in Love palette. I do have a code with Ofra. It's just Anne in all caps. It'll save you some money off. So it looks like you get a lipstick, a lip gloss, and then you get the palette right here. It's the regular Ofra. You get a mirror. And then these are the shades. Very pretty. Let's do some swatches. All right, those are the four mattes. And those are the colors just going in one time. Wow, that's pretty. All right, let's go in with the shimmer. Ew, that's pretty. Put that right here. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh, that's really pretty. This is called White Pumpkin. That's really pretty. All right, let me take that off my hands because I'll get it everywhere. Normally, I would go with my Gerard Cosmetics um, Clean Canvas Eye Primer, but I use the concealer as my eye base because like I said, I'm off. Usually, I always do my eyes first. I'm going to just go in with the yellow shade, yellow and then orange. Oh, that's nice. That's the orange, uh, the yellow shade. Wow, that's pretty. All right, so let's talk. What has been going on? Well, I suffer from depression. <laughs> I have basically my whole adult life. Um, a lot of it stems from my childhood. I think my childhood trauma, but and then just situations. In my adult life <laughs> I'm already born Nala to death and I've shared this I believe on this channel but I talk a lot about it that I am separated from my husband we are currently going through a divorce and that has really took a toll on me even though I am the happiest that I've been like mentally in years it's still sad. I feel like a failure and it hurts to not be loved. You know, it hurts when somebody doesn't love you or maybe never has loved you. And that's a hurtful feeling regardless what the situation is. And um, so I'm dealing with that and then also some issues with my son and my husband, which I'm not really going to get into. Guilt, you know, like, oh, I brought him into my kid's life. He is not the biological father of my children. Isaiah was five and almost six, and Tyler was 16 when I, and then Lexi was 10 or 11 when I met my husband. And so even though I've always paid the bills, I'm going in with that orange color now, I... I worry about money. Uh, you know, my husband quit his job. And so now I don't have any health insurance. And, you know, I'm diabetic. I have heart disease. And it's like, you know, I signed up for different programs, but it's a waiting game. But in the meantime, like, I mean, my insulin and stuff is over. It's, I get the pen is like $2,000 a month, which, of course, I can't afford that. I can't go to the doctor because I have no health insurance. So I stress over YouTube is my main source of income. And on this channel, like the views just aren't where they used to be. And that's because I basically do subscription box unboxings. And ever since COVID, you know, people don't have a lot of money anymore and they're not into subscription boxes and people aren't getting subscription boxes. So it's like, they're not watching. And I understand that 100%. And also I wasn't 
putting out as much content as I normally do. And then you get out of the algorithm. And I've always said this, YouTube is a computer. So let's say I'm used to getting 200,000 views a month. Now I'm only getting 50,000 views a month. YouTube's looking at it as where, oh, people aren't interested in her content anymore. Not that, oh, she hasn't put much content out. That's why, <laughs> right? Because it's like I said, it's a computer. It hurt me not putting out as much content. Uh, people don't get notifications as much anymore. Uh, I have my blog channel. My blog channel is subscribed to this channel, and I never get notified when I put up a video <laughs> or anything like that. You know, sometimes it's not even on my home feed when I put out a video. It's weird. YouTube is steady taking away subscribers. So if you don't watch somebody's content in like three months, then YouTube will unsubscribe you from them. It's kind of like getting out any maybe bots or, uh, this is in general, any bots or uh, people that just aren't watching, it, you know, or what have you. And so, like, every time you turn around, like, I might gain 20 subscribers, but then YouTube's taken 40 away. So, it's like I'm in the red as far. I haven't gained a solid 100 subscribers on this channel in probably six months, maybe. It's been a minute. I've gained it, but then YouTube takes it away. You know what I mean? And so, then that hurts with money. And, it's, and, and when you suffer from depression... You know, I think to myself, is it worth putting out content and then editing it? And Because I do everything myself. For what? Because YouTube's not promoting my channel. They're taking it away. And this is like when you just suffer from depression. You know, I just, I, it's, it's like the devil's in my ear. And I think like, should I keep up this channel? Because on my vlog channel, I only have 12,000 subscribers. But I... I can put up a vlog and I'll get more views than I do with this channel that has 50,000 subscribers. So then I think, is it me? Are people just not interested in, in my stuff anymore? Like, you know, I try to change it up, but then I get even less views on that, you know? All right, I'm just going to go in with this. The burgundy. I'm not going to use the green today. And then, like I said, when I get depressed, then it's like, I don't want to film. It's like depressing. Like, why put in all the work? And then, once I'm out of my depressed, I'm like, oh, you're, Ann, you're so dumb. Like, it's only hurting you more when you're not putting out the content. Do some shorts. You know, I don't really, I have an Instagram that it's just Ann Rankin. And I never post on there. And it's like, all right, we'll do some shorts and put that on Instagram. Like, it's also my fault because I'm not putting the work ethic in that I used to put in, you know? And it's just a vicious, vicious cycle. And I did. I thought, maybe I just need to stop this channel or change it up and focus on my vlog channel. You know, I'm stuck. Like, should I keep going? I'm just going in with a bigger brush and just blending it out. You know, like, should I keep this channel up? Are people still interested? Or maybe I just need to do something different. Should I put vlogs on this channel? I don't know. And I hate feeling this way. I hate it because I really love this channel. And I love makeup. I really, really do. All right, I'm going in with the shimmer shade right here. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. So, like, I'm not even making half of what I used to make financially. Not, not, not even half. Like, I make more on my second channel now a month than I do on this channel. And then I think about maybe I just need to get a job. But can I with my health right now? I wouldn't be reliable, you know? That has a little fallout, but not too much. All right, I'm going to go in with, um, I need a darker color. So Ofra came out with this um, mini mix face palette. And it looks like this. So it has some blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. Oh, uh, I'm going to go in 
with this dark brown real quick, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I need it. That's what I need it. All right, I'm gonna clean up my eyes. I haven't done eyeshadow in a minute and I'm, I'm making a mess. Well, that's much better. All right, let's see. What are we going to do with the face? I'm going to go on my Lunar Beauty. Uh, this is the Outer Dimension Palette. And I just usually do this and this. So what I used to do is, I mean, I blend this out. I know it looks dark, but I will blend it out. I used to just go in here and then do a fake contour, use these shades here, but I've been doing something different. So I'll go in with my bronzer like this, and then whatever's left over, I just kind of go down here. Let's do my forehead, because I got a big forehead. And two down here because I got those double chin girl get rid of that double chin get your ears so that doesn't look funny and I take a blending brush and I just kind of blend that out you see how it blends out it just looks beautiful these powders blend out like a dream I'm gonna go into the Ofer Miami palette and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, this highlighter. I love, 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 love Ofer's highlighters. I just go in with my beauty blender. That way, you know, it doesn't leave that streak because it looks funny you ever see somebody with just a streak of highlighter it doesn't look natural I mean if that's what you're going for and you like then you do you but I like more natural natural I'm gonna use these blushes as well I'm just going to go in with these two blushes like that Again, I just blend it all out. And then I take my setting spray again. And then my beauty blender and I just push everything in. And there we go. I'm gonna go in with this blue eyeliner. It's from Deuce. All right, all right, all right, what are we doing? I'm gonna go in with this orange and burgundy shade. I'm just gonna do this. That looks good. And now I'm just gonna go in with the burgundy. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the Lunar Beauty. I've never used it before, but I'm gonna go in with this deep brown. Never tried it before, but let's just see. And then just go just a little bit in. If I go too much in, then it make my eyes look smaller than what they are. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, I like, I like. Take that just to deepen this up just a smidge. Ew. Okay. Okay. I see what you're working with. I see you. I see you, Lunar Beauty. All right. Now let's go in with the mascara. This is the Telescopic Lift Mascara by L'Oreal. So this was just this right here. I think it looks beautiful. 
All right, now I'm gonna go into, where you be, where you be? My What's Up Beauty mascara. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, let me do my hair, change my clothes, and then I'll be back to finish up, do my lipstick, and then we'll get close up and personal. So, I'll be back. All right, so we're back. The only thing left we have to do is the lips. And these are the Ofra X Ally Dawson. So that's what we're gonna use. But I always go in with the lip liner, you guys know this. I'm gonna go in, usually I use my Gerard Cosmetics lip liner. And I do have a discount code with them. It's just in in all caps. However, I'm trying to use up makeup that I already have. And this is a ColourPop lippy. I wanna say it's BF. F3, I think. I'm not sure, but let's do it. All right, so we're going to go in with the lipstick first, and this is in Kaya. This is a pretty color. Let me do a little swatch. Oh, beautiful. It matches that lip liner. You can't even tell I have a lip liner on because it matches the lip liner perfectly. And that wasn't planned. All right. So it's a little brownie for me. But let me know what you guys, if, what you guys think of it. Because I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And then we have like a lip gloss in the shade. I don't know how to pronounce it. K-O-A. K -O -A. Oh, that's beautiful. There's the lip gloss right there. That is gorgeous. Okay. And there we go. Now, I don't know. I think it's very beautiful, creamy, just like Ofra's formula. I do like Ofra's uh liquid lipstick. I really do. And their lip gloss is bomb.com. I do like it. I'm just, I'm so used to my ready browns, but let me know what you guys think. Like it, I keep looking at myself and I'm like, should it be a little bit darker for the, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of the look? Let me know. Did you guys know that Ofer collab with Allie Dawson? I will leave Allie's YouTube channel linked down below. She does subscription boxes. She does makeup reviews. She has a lot of different things on her channel. So, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave it down in the description box as well as the link to buy Allie's collab. Don't forget, if you use Just Dan and all caps, we'll save you some money off. All right, guys, that's everything. Now I'm getting ready to vlog. Don't forget, I do, do have a vlog channel, Just Ann's World. I will leave it down in the description box as always. Check it out. See if that is something that you'd be interested in. And before I say my goodbyes, I do want to say... You know, suffering from depression, I do know it comes, but it also goes. And I'll get out of this funk. I think right now I'm just in a funk, you know. But I just wanted to talk about how I was feeling a little bit and why maybe you haven't seen me so much on this channel. It's just, I'm just in a funk and I'm like, I need to get out of it. You know what I mean? Because it's only hurting myself. I forgot to get up close and personal, but that's my makeup look and the lips. I don't know how I'm feeling the lips. Let me know down below. Does it suit me? Does it not? And I'm talking about as far as the color for me because I'm so used to those reddish brown colors. Let me know. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. I guess it's okay. I gotta get out of my comfort zone. That's what I need to do.